I swear I will. Fuck you and your queen. That's enough. So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there. Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage. What in the seven bloody hells? What's going on? Why the hell are you drinking? Since when do I need a fucking reason? She can't fight like this, Asha. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you, you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Oh! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck. I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Basically, anyway. what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? Fuck. <gasps> oh. Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. Fuck Croft. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? Your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You get me burned by a dragon! Just talk to me, Veska! We're done talking. <laughs> Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. You want to help? Is this what you want? Get off me. It's me! Talk to me! I was a slave. Here. In this fucking city. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it, smiling. Yeah. Thank you, little brother. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. 
Come on. You've had enough. Let me say that. in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. And I'm not really interested in joining you on her bad side. Please, Sarah. I know you're probably angry with me, but I need your help. I don't know. Please. <sighs> Fine. But you owe me, understand? She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. You're quite handsome yourself. I can see why Sarah likes you. Hopefully that's not the only reason. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. <laughs> it's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate she ears anyway. Oh, really? <gasps> My That's ears are that. not we'll delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little loaves. <Stop> it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Is there someone you'd rather be talking to? I'm sorry, I... I um, I'm rather thirsty. Oh, allow me. No, I can get it myself. Thank you. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Ooh, right. Find out who is helping Lord Whitehill. Well, surely it can't be Sarah. Uh, Tarwick, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. One of these guys, they were previously trying to strike a deal with the Whitehills. Um, let's try Morgan first, though. And why would you ever stop dealing iron? Hmm. Is there no longer a demand? I can't imagine that would be the case. No need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. Put 
you've dropped too long. Right, move on to this guy then. It is a lot, but I know how to speak. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family. Wow. We know he's working with the Whitehills then. That's a good start. Right, there's nobody else around here. There was somebody over near the feast table we could spot. Hang on, let's talk to this guy. Can we talk to that guy? Man, I can't talk to you. Probably don't want to eavesdrop straight on these guys because they'll probably catch me and uh, tell me off. What else have we got? Let's get a bit of food. Not pigeon pie, <laughs> that's probably going to end badly. Get a bit of a track record. It seems so calm out there. I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Well. Wasn't he Lannister? One of their guard, but still. Surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. I ain't quite out of the uh, out of the woods there on that one. Oh, I can't remember. I, I think it was a bird. Oh, close. A cock. That's it. <laughs> no, that's terrible. You're the one telling the joke, remember? We can go up to them and talk to them. That's probably not the smartest option. Let's go talk to Morgan instead. <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me. When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. But now Lord Andros seems to think he's the only one working for him. So what happened? It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. Why would Lord Andros want to push you out? You found a man he could manipulate. Someone who wouldn't demand an equal share. Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. Our end goal is going to be to talk to him at some point. Oh, can, can we drop more? And a Lannister, too. Uh, I thought we were done talking about this. You asked me about my friends. The friends, yes. Lyman is your business partner. What's the difference? Uh, fair enough, Andros. 
And if my friends happen to protect me from the crowd, all the better. <laughs> I think I need more wine. Hmm. Suspicious. Can we talk to him? We can. Okay. Let's see what he's got to say. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? <laughs> Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? You look like you could use some company. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Oh? What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. If you like. You can whisper it in my ear. I... Well... I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Whoop. Oh, shit. Lady Marjorie. Hide under the table. Under the table. Under the table. Too late. Oh, we're fucked. Lady Marjorie. Oh, intercepted. Nice. She must have recognised me, though. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? How about we trade? There must be something I can tell you. There is something. Oh, no, don't I'm ask curious me. curious about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. Is she a I'd bastard? Be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? I know nothing Something about her family. I'm Northern. Right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days. But very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, 
Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. I think we should probably get out of here while we're ahead. Lady Mira. <laughs> we're gonna talk to it, we're gonna confront him. That's gonna end badly. Then Marjorie's gonna find us and that's gonna end badly. Oh dear. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You can't You've trust landed him. me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. Just be quiet, Lyman. Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy? You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets. So why not spill his? Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. That army will destroy my family. That was his hope, I'm sure, but I... Traitor. He's gonna cause a scene. You promised me. Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never oh have God. trusted you. The shit's she the fan told everywhere. me everything. Oh, evil stairs. Evil stairs. Lady Mirror. You've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. As have you, my lord. Because I know everything you're planning. And I'm going to destroy you.